All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVing. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Got a single collar tie. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and wrestling. He 
he was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Pretty good execution on that early takedown. Everybody in this ring knew that he wanted to get the early takedown, and opponent couldn't stop him. Sometimes you're so good at something, it doesn't matter what your opponent is doing. This man is such a great wrestler, he was able to secure that takedown. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? It's a good right hand right Edge there. of your seat action as expected so far. That shot is blocked by Nermago Medov. Gosh, the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Nice slip to avoid the left. Big ball from Clutch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. The takedown is there. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee is going to stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Back and forth we go! Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Oh, really making good... wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Big kick lands. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Final seconds of round one. He just heard him with a left hook, yeah. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Three. Listen, that was awesome. I need more of that. I want you to go out and... All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to go with that ball and get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. 
all those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. It's just missed with the left there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just misses with the jab there. All right, single collar tie now. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him. This is one of his best strikes he's throwing it over and over. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Missed with that right hand. Slips the shot. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nurmago Medov's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. That's a good strike right here. Oh, single collar tie here. Level team, leg, finish the takedown. Straight job. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. My close guard now. He's got to be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Big kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Punch over the top. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, nice. Look at the rip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge block! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good punch. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. That right hand landed. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? works to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Right hook to the head block. Good stick. Let's get going. Punch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, beautiful body by him there again we talked off the top about his size advantage and he put it to good use there oh collar tie right hand punch oh. he's in trouble he's hurt back Hicks is in an elbow for good measure every time these guys come together man you just hear the punches and everything landing oh, very powerful very very explosive Oh, significant strike step there, but a huge block. Really tight.
timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Sit down, relax, breathe, okay? You gotta suck it up this round. You're not tired. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That's what I'm talking about. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Here's the kick blocked by Nomago Meta. Circling towards the left now. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice punch. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous Another beautiful takedown hand. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. It's got to be something. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, continuing to work the body. Great technique on the overhand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots, but if you take one of them, with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the third round. He's going to win it. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Khabib the Ebola Manomela. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still, after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach.